smart serve source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. I am Onika McLean. And I'm Essence Samaje. So Kizzy Cox and Courtney Rashard are off today. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a quick take on what's popping. So number one story, Fox Television it has announced that Empire, yes, Boo Boo Kitty, will be renewed <laughs> for a third season. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that too. That's cool, good because, you know, Keep everybody entertained. A lot of people love that show. I just hope that they invite um, Alicia Keys back. I really like that storyline. That was like a little juicy yeah. at the end when she came. and. You know. I got excited for a second because I went back and started watching it again. And I was like, oh, okay, they're trying to give him a little mixy here. Yeah, that was like, oh. Mm. So an Ohio fugitive was apprehended in Florida after he sent a better picture because he hated his mugshot photo. Then Listen to this. 45-year-old Chip Pugh posted a new picture on Facebook, he says, here's a better photo. The one you have is horrible. That is hilarious. Now that is honestly, like, who does he think he is? I like, But he's not too bright, because he just told it himself. But it's your brand. So think about think about the photos when people tag you in the photos. You're like, wait a minute, untag myself. I uh, wish I could do that, and he, who does he think he is for him to do that? That wasn't too smart. Now he's no, behind bars. No. It's but like was, his but, brand. Did he want to try to become, like, the other hot model? Slash fugitive. Oh, that, that, guy? Yeah. that guy was cute. Okay. Mm. Yeah, well, sorry, Mr. Hugh. Whatever. Good luck to you. Okay. <laughs> in other news, rapper Kendrick Lamar will receive the key to the city in his hometown of Compton. Congrats mm -hmm. to Kendrick, right? Yeah, what do you think about Kendrick Lamar? I love him. I, think I that love he's so his good. music. He's one of the, looked at as one of the best lyricists of this millennial next to J. Cole. So good for him. When I first bought his album years ago when I was in high school, I knew all the songs to it, and now I see all the upcoming events that he's been doing and how much he's been growing. So she said years he deserves ago when it. She was in high school. It's been years ago when I was now. in high school. <laughs> Patty LaBelle is peddling more than patty pies. We know that she has this caramel cake that she's distributing now, but she has some uh, little juice in her A love life. Mm -hmm, mm, <laughs> little caramel, caramel. A young one, mm. fresh tenderoni. So she's supposed to be dating her drummer, Eric Seats, and uh, he's 41 years old. So what do you think about 71, 41 on the oven? They say age isn't nothing but a number, but I mean, it, you see this happening a lot. Right? Look at Kylie Jenner and Tyga. Tyga's in his mid-20s, and Kylie Jenner was still 17 when he was dating before, so. Yeah. It happens a lot. It does happen a lot. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy-saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. And we want to bid a fine farewell to actor Alan Rickman, who played Professor Severus Snape in Harry Potter. Movies has passed away at age 69. Yes, and legendary blues singer Otis Clay passed away recently at age 73. And we want to send a heartfelt condolences to Celine Dion, who lost her husband, Renee Angelil, and her brother, Daniel Dion, both from Kansas cancer two days apart she's really going through it yeah that's mm -hmm. really sad and lastly we want to send out a speedy recovery to anchor maurice dubois um he was diagnosed with bell's palsy mm -hmm. yeah traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light switch to energy saving bulbs saving energy saves you money my new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff i wouldn't use this one he helps me with my decision making never and he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Welcome back to What's the 401. Onika, tell us what's popping. Okay, so let me tell you what's popping for real, for real. Okay, so my family and I, we do like... Um, group chats. Do you guys do that with your we family? We do. I have a group chat with my parents and my little brother. Do you yeah. name it? So my family, we have like a brag chat when we're talking about stuff that's happening that, you know, everyone needs to like give everybody kudos for, you know. Oh, no, that's a brag too, that's we too do all detailed. Of that. That's we too detailed. That. And then we do a petty chat. Like we find stuff on, on uh, Instagram or uh -huh. Facebook and we're like, look at this and we do snapshots and stuff. So it's hilarious. But anyway, Tashina Arnold, you know Pam mm -hmm. from Martin, so she and her, she sent her own little group text. Group text. Oh, that's nice. It's, it's, I, I'm gonna call it group text that's for that. the gods, <laughs> honey. So what happened is Pam found out, Tashina, I'm sorry, found out that her husband 
was having extramarital affairs, mm -hmm. and she found uh, a video of him having sex. Yeah. And she put this in a group text. And she sent it to their family and friends. It was like, <gasps> basically, this is it. All bets are off. Rico and I are over. It's, it's just so sad. It is. It's Ugh. like, what do you think about that? Because do you think it was right if this was an ongoing affair that he was having with women and she's just tired multiple, of it? Multiple women. She said without protection. He was not using protection. I don't know how she knows that information. I mean, like he, there aren't STDs. That's so disrespectful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think he deserved that. But it's so humiliating, humiliating to do that and his, your family saying that. And his mother. He could you imagine it. his mother getting that text like, what the hell? It's I'll, shocking, but he dug his own grave, so. I feel sorry for her because she waited a really long time to get married. And mm -hmm. the same thing has happened with Sherry Shepard. Like, she just got divorced because of some... And she stays, because I know this was probably ongoing. She probably knew about the affairs before. And that the fact that she actually tried, and then he still continues. They only got married in 2012, so this yeah. is a very young relationship. Mm -hmm. It's really, really sad. It's really sad. But... That's what happens in the land of social media, and you can do it now, right? Mm -hmm. That's this is what you can do. Another story that went viral: Jada Pinkett Pinkett Smith. Mm -hmm. Why can't I say Pinkett today? Pinkett. Um, she is calling for a boycott of the Academy Awards. She said there's a lack of diversity, and she thinks that everybody should just like not go. I mean, there were no black actors or actresses nominated for an Oscar this year, so it's kind of disappointing because that's a very prestigious award. I can understand mm -hmm. the disappointment that comes from the black community. You know, people work hard for this and for them to not even be um, thought about. But that happens every year, so I don't understand why, people is it so, were, so, I, why is it so, such a big deal Lupita this year? Wongo won for Best Supporting Actress and 12 Years a Slave, but this year it's like no one was nominated. But, but the lead, so it's the key roles. Like, so the, never the lead. It's always a big deal when somebody of color gets that award why he said it's 94 percent white the bonus mm -hmm. like that makes no sense in 2015 i'm not surprised there's a lot of craziness going on well jada you know why they care it's because you get to say academy award winning actress so and so right now you, you get, get that title money. you get, get that money. title right. yeah but so will didn't get it but will like come on he's 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 getting paper so Jada's saying, you know, let's get our own awards, and I get it. Let's get our own awards. She she did this video. It went viral. Mm -hmm. 50, five, no, 5 million views on it. So Really? After, um, and she waited on MLK Day to do this, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And said, just said, let's get our own. Already? But Aunt Viv, who is Janet Hupper, went to the uh, video post herself, and she was like, basically, don't tell people to do something like, boycott you got all your money all your millions jada and will so now we must boycott because you are being snubbed no 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 so then she said in her video when they were on fresh prince that the cast went to will smith and said you know maybe we can if you get behind us we can all get a raise and he was like no my deal is my deal and y'all deal is y'all deal hmm. So, so they brought, she brought it back. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. mm hmm So, black Twitter, or we could call it bitter. That was hilarious. No. <laughs> As hashtagging, um, Oscars is so white. And they're calling for the boycott and all that stuff. It just, Elba, it's just, it's just really sad. But Chris Rock is, is what, where my heart kind of breaks. Because people are saying to him to not attend because he's hosting the and awards. And he's hosting the awards. How could that be? That's kind of career suicide. I don't think that he should be made to do that. What do it's you It's like think money about that? and bills. And I can't count his pockets. I don't know where his money's at right now. But, I mean, it, look, it makes him look like a jester. You know? Yeah, you but think? that he's a comedian already. He's a stuff. comedian. So that that's the, that's the gig. He's supposed to make people laugh. He's, so, mm. but, what do you think? But... No one could be awarded, but they could be just a jester. It just it makes it look so bad, and then they coincidentally have the black like host this year. It's so funny. The president of our award is, uh, uh, of that that um, academy is a black woman. Wow. Um, but okay, so when we return, we'll have the Fab Four on One segment with Essence Shamaj. She'll share essential oils with us and how it can help our skin. Mm -hmm. Going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? 
<laughs> I see you. Come look at Mr. Feather. Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Welcome back to What's the 401, you guys. So I'm going to tell you some great essential oils that you can use to rejuvenate your skin and repair it. You guys have damaged skin, blemishes, red spots, dark marks. It's winter, your skin might dry out. But always remember that skin are, is different, right? You might have oily skin or you might have dry skin, so it depends. You can mix these oils. First off, I want to mention jojoba oil. This oil is so good because it really matches the skin and it's not that oily, it's easily absorbed. So it mimics the skin sebum. And that is used, you can actually take the sebum out of your hair by rubbing your scalp and putting it on the ends of your hair too. That's really? good. This, this yes, um, it's on your scalp, it grows on your scalp and when you put it on the ends of your hair, it'll make it grow, make it healthy. And the same thing goes for the, what comes out of your skin. So it tricks the skin to produce less oil when you put jojoba oil on your, on your skin. Also, castor oil is very good. It's a thick oil, so if you have um, oily yeah. skin, you can put that in here, but if you have oily skin, you might want to mix it with us, uh, oil like jojoba oil um, to make it match your like skin a better. Yeah, a carrier, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so less is more with this one. It's anti-inflammatory and antibacteria, so it's good for acne, prone skin. It also is high in unsaturated fatty acids, as vitamin E, as proteins and minerals, and it heals the discoloration scars and from acne so that's great for that really? part really mm -hmm. i didn't know that yeah that's very good and also another one is hemp seed oil i eat hemp seeds all the time i put it in my oatmeal but i want to make it right so i found out obviously you need to have it cold pressed so you have to go look i'm looking for that you probably buy it on amazon so you want to make it and then sell it or something no like i'm not gonna make it. i'm gonna buy it hemp seed oil you could buy it on amazon you have to have it cold pressed right mm -hmm. because if it's um if it's not cold pressed or organic that means it was processed it was warmed and it might be mixed with some other unnatural sources okay cool. so um that has zero um comma didn't Coma genetic rating. Mm -hmm. That means that it won't clog your pores, it won't cause blackheads. Okay. The other oils that I mentioned earlier, they have either rating one to two on a scale of five. So they, it's, it's still very low on their scale, so they won't cause, it might not cause blackheads, but this hemp seed oil is very good for that. That's my first time he them. hearing about hemp seed oil. Hemp seed oil, yes. I really? have to get my hands, I heard a lot of, a lot of good things about that. Mm -hmm. um, it, re it reduces the pore size, so you'll have 80% fatty acids, and it contains the ideal omega-6 and omega-3 um, essential fatty acids. Also, it penetrates the skin's layers, and it's um, a dry oil, so you might want to mix it with other oils. And, and store it in a cool area. Okay, um, also, grapeseed oil. I have that on my skin right now. I love it. Um, you could get it for $15 at a beauty supply store. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't get the oils that are like $2 because they're probably mixed with other materials. And, not and they're not 100%. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it might say also, um, it's going to say organic on the bottle. So I have it right here for you guys. This one I got the beauty supply store. Pure grapeseed oil, right? Hollywood. Um, certified organic. And it has a little... And this is just thing. for your skin. Can you put it in your hair You can too? put it in your hair. You mm -hmm. put it in your hair. It says the um, directions on it. You put it in your hair. You can rub it in your scalp, massage it. Um, it supplies hair with many nutrients and moisturizes hair, making it stronger and prevents from damage and um, brittleness. Also, you can rub it in your skin as a moisturizer. Um, it's a thin oil. It feels so thin, almost like when you put a toner on before you put your makeup on. It mm -hmm. feels like it just sinks into my skin. I love it. I put it on, and I wake up in the morning. I see a difference. Really? My skin's glowing. I'm gonna yeah. try it then. I'm gonna try yes, it then. Seriously, really? I love oils. I love these oils. You don't Good. need to buy all these other products. These are natural, essential oils for your skin. Mm -hmm. um, what I would do also is mix oils in a little tube. You could get this at CVS. This is a three ounce. Mix these, you can use it for your hair and for your skin, and make your own personalized um, product for yourself, whichever fits you, right? 
And lastly, I'm going to tell you guys about Tamanu Oil. This is, um, regenerates your skin and the, the, the skin tissues, and it has strong anti-inflammatory, um, processes, and it has a lipid called colophyllide, colophyllide, I think it's called, mm -hmm. and so this is very good for what the skin as well. What does that do? This rejuvenates the skin, so it gets rid of, it's anti-inflammatory, it makes sure it's um, for acne-prone skin, mm -hmm. it takes away redness or dark spots, so all these oils are really good to look forward to, you guys could get them at maybe a Trader Joe's or a, a beauty, supply, beauty supply store, so check those out for your skin this winter. I do, I, I do uh, coconut oil, I know I do Coconut that. oil, I wouldn't advise you to use that on your skin. Oh, I do all the time, because I love it. It's, yeah, because it causes acne. You can use that on your hair and maybe your body, but not on your face. Oh, I, I do on my mm -hmm. face. Well. Okay, cool. I guess it just depends, right? Because it's comedogenetic, so mm -hmm. it's it could, high, it could it's clog your pores. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. And when we return, we'll be back with news that's flying under the radar. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Okay, Hillary, feel the burn. Senator Bernie Sanders is taking his message of income inequality and criminal justice reform directly to the critical voting block he hopes will embrace his presidential candidacy. The black college student. New target, new target, take notes, take notes. So to win South Carolina primary on February 27th and win the black voters in the upcoming presidential contest, Sanders, self-described socialist candidate, is forging ahead with a brand new strategy, touring the HBCUs. He going to all the black colleges, talking to black students about their problems and what their concerns are when they graduate. Good for you, Bernie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's so. very involved with education. Mm -hmm. He's known for that. So that's really good because also students um, can register to vote in the state that they go to school in. So him coming there and they're aware of more about him, learn more about the pre the president that might, maybe. He probably registered them they while he's there. They may take his liking. He probably registered them while he's there, right? That's a good idea. Yeah. I still don't think he's going to win, though. I think Hillary is going to. You think so? Double, double minority. It's nice. It'll be nice she's if Hillary woman, wins be gay. because she's a woman, and we never had a woman president. But I don't know. You, you think Bernie has got some? I don't know. I just think that Hill. I just think that everyone's gonna. I'm not sure. Hillary, I'm not sure who I want to win yet. No. Who else do you know? Because I mean, I know nothing really about Bernie. I Sanders. want Trump to win. <laughs> so do all the Mexicans. <laughs> My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Never. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Most of us like to shop, but many of us like a good bargain. So as we end January, if you need any linens, now's the time to get them. Mm -hmm. Department stores, they generally have white sales. And in January, they have electric, um, electronic items such as TVs and computers and phones, right, which in, stuff, in right? stores, yeah, they're going on sale to make way for new you products. Know, I never even thought about that because you do the... And uh, the after Christmas sale, and then you just kind of leave it alone. But you never that's heard a good that. Idea. No, parents now. saying no. I'm not getting you Christmas gifts. Wait till after Christmas when the sales come. I'll get you some gifts. But I didn't know it was all the way at the end of January. <laughs> they keep going. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So cool. Hey, going out like that? Yeah. Why? Well, <laughs> what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. <laughs> Mom, 
Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner okay. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Welcome back to What's the Form on One. It's time for reality TV recap time. Take it away, Onika. So let me tell you something. The celebrities are not the only people that get bored and watch uh, Team Mom marathons. You Have you watched Team Mom? Um, years ago, I happened when it first came out, I watched it a little, yeah. Well, it's still going on and on mm -hmm. and on. Well, Nicki Minaj was bored. So what she was doing was watching uh, Teen Moms, and then she went to Twitter mm -hmm. to blast Farrah Abraham. She went on Twitter and she said, you know what, Farrah? Your mother didn't open her legs to have that baby, so stop treating her like a, you little... Bleep. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Yes. Okay, Nicki. I know, sometimes you get bored, you don't go to social Maybe media. Maybe she was bored. Maybe she was bored. She was bored because now she just really made Farrah got the relevant. Hairs. She yeah. made her relevant. So then first, Farrah was like, I'm not going to respond to Nikki. I am just going to ignore her little childish self. Mm -hmm. So she decided, I'm going to talk back to Nikki's diss. So this is what Farrah said. Eventually. She says, because you're a parent, right, Nikki? Your videos look like you're a porn star. Mm. She came from Nicki Well, they have something in common. Um, she said, horrible. Good luck being negative. Hashtag God bless. I'm busy making TV. That's Farrah's mm. um, um, little tweet, right? So later, Farrah was like, I think I was being a little s soft. So she had her little daughter, Sophia, go and make a little uh, video talking I about Nicki yeah. Minaj. She says, hi, everybody. Nicki Minaj is a total loser. <laughs> she was so adorable in the video, too. I think it's horrible that she brought that little kid involved in these grown person's It's feet. so petty. And she don't want it with Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is gangster. I think a it was a little whack gangster. for her to call her out her name like that, like use that. But she was emotional. Yeah. You know, you know that's how tweeting is. It was a nasty is. word. It was a nasty mm -hmm. word. I mean, and Farrah's calling her like a porno star. It takes one to no one, you know? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but <laughs> I think it's petty. You know, the clapbacks, it's entertaining. It's Twitter. Mm -hmm. Just move along. More Wait. important things going on. So what about uh, Love and Hip Hop with the... with? Peter Guns and the oh two my women gosh. Uh, having a baby. So 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 she did it for the kids. Do you know she's pregnant now? She's again. pregnant. Yeah. They had they just had a, a baby shower. I saw it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So Mina was pregnant mm -hmm. and she got an abortion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She Peter Guns and moved these two ladies in the same building. So you have children by two women in the same building. I mean, this boy is Who does gang he think he is? Gangster? I don't know. Like, He's something. So anyway, both of the women were pregnant at the same time, so they both know about each other on the different floors. They both have an unprotected sex with this guy. What is so special about him? What is he I don't doing? Know, I don't want to know. Some okay. things I'm going to just leave He's to the universe. He's not even that good looking. I don't think it has anything to do with looks. Anyway, right? <laughs> so, two women are... So one woman decides to abort her baby, mm -hmm. and then Tara, who was the um, who was the first baby. girlfriend, she was the first girlfriend. She decides to have the baby. So hence girlfriend. None of them are married. Like it's no, ridiculous. no, no, no. Amina is married. He married oh, sorry, Amina. Amina's yeah. married. Tara's not. I mean, the, the first baby. She wasn't married. But Amina, that's good. I I mean, some people don't agree with abortions, but. Um, I don't blame her for it. Who wants to keep going on with this and, you know, and another baby attached that she has to take care of and he's not even around, supposedly? Like, And the world is watching these two women... Make fools of themselves. Yeah, that's the sad part. You know, uh, do, you, part. do you think Tara's trying to just come back at her to be spiteful? I think that she's a confused woman. <laughs> I, I, because I've met her, and she's... V very bright. I'm really shocked that she's having a baby. And she's supposed to be an etiquette coach. Yeah. Yeah. Good mm. example. But you know what happens when they get on those shows? They need to get a job some kind of way so then they get these little careers. You know, mm. that's just what it is. <laughs> mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please.
You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. The average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Welcome back, and here are stories that we have in the pipeline. Yes, the NAACP will hand out its 47th Image Awards on February 5th. Also on February 5th, Mike Epps is going to be at the theater of Mad at Madison Square Garden. I love Mike Epps. I will be there yeah. in the building. And the legendary rap group Run DMC will receive a Lifetime Achievement Award on the upcoming 58th Annual Grammy Awards. And on, this is on February 15th, and the awards will be televised on CBS. Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan, let me rock you, let me rock you, Chaka Khan. Well, We'll have a special guest, Vivian Green. They're going to be at King's Theater in Brooklyn. Right in Brooklyn, guys. February Local. 19th. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. I don't have my hair out right now. <laughs> <laughs> and Griot.com is reporting that BET will honor singer Patti LaBelle and movie producer Lee Daniels at the BET Awards, which is happening in uh, June to, uh, 26. But you know what else? NWE. A is being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Good for hoo, them. Hoo, hoo. Good. I'm really happy about that. And guess what? That is it. I had so much fun. I know. Oh my God, I'm so glad you're, you're here. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it for this week's episode of What's the 411? You want to keep it right, regular. Your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. I am Onika McLean. It's been a pleasure. And this is Essence Samaje. So we want to make sure until next week that you check us out on our YouTube channel and what's the 411.com. Yes. And also remember to hit us up on Facebook, our Instagram, our Periscope, our Blab, our Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is What's the Phone One TV. Please check us out. You just might get a shout out on the yeah, show. Yeah, we're going to shout out the tweets. So if you tweet us, we'll tweet you back, and we'll tweet, tweet you back on television. So see you in two weeks. I'm Onika McLean on behalf of Essence Samaje. That's what's the 411. 411, they got the 411. Who's got the 411? We got the 411. What's the 411? The 411, what's the 411? They got the 411. What's the 411? They got the 411. What's the 411? What's the 411? What's the 411?